What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. My name is Brett and today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know what that is, every month Mystery Tackle Box bundles a bunch of their best baits and brands, throws them in a box and ships them right to your door. So it's a subscription based service and they don't only have bass, they've got you know pan fish, they've got inshore fish, they've got walleye, they've got pretty much anything you can think of they probably make a specialty box for it. If you want to pick up your own mystery tackle box, it is super, super simple. I'm gonna leave a link in the top of the description, be the first link there. Use the code BFishing at checkout and get your first one for as little as $10. So, very, very simple. Today we're gonna to be fishing with the Bass Pro Box. This is not a slam video. This is more of a, let's talk about some of the baits that we got this month because I get two boxes. I think y'all know that by now. I get two boxes every month, and this month they were completely different. I'm talking about totally, 100% completely different. But they both have hidden gems in each of them. So I wanna talk about those hidden gems, then we're gonna give one of the boxes away. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do, go ahead, if you're new, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. That is gonna be required for the giveaway. I'll talk about the other things in the video. I like to hide different things that you need to put in the comments in the video, because I need you guys watching all the way through in these videos. It's very important for my channel that you watch all the way through. So let's get into these boxes, shall we? So the first box I've got, and this box was actually used in a Mystery Tackle Box Slam on their video, but I've got the Filthy Frog, we've got the new Yodo Worm by 10,000 Fish, the Gambler Why Not, Lake Fork Trophy Lures, this little Cinco style wacky rig worm, the Death Wish, uh, it's a little paddle tail swim bait, we've got some rocker heads, and then we've got a Lifted Jigs jig. So a good assortment of baits in this box. Dude, there's some gems in that box for sure. Then we've also got this other box that I've got. Got some impulse baits, a deep crank, um, bruiser baits, like bug style baits. And then we've got some that I've already got tied on that I wanna talk about. Over here we got a Castaic Frog. Surely y'all can see that thing right there. I've been fishing with that, just testing it out, seeing what's up with it. It also came with the Lifted Jigs jig and Right there, that Bill Lewis MR6. We'll talk more about that one. That's one I definitely want to highlight in this video. But those are the two boxes. I'm gonna take a couple of the baits out. We're gonna see if we can't catch some fish out here today on them, and uh, then I'm gonna give one of these boxes away. And again, watch the whole video. I'll tell you how to win it. Let's go. All right, folks. So there are a few baits in these boxes that completely stuck out to me. And I'm gonna tell you one that, that really didn't. I feel like when everybody opened their boxes, everybody got so excited because there was a Guggen Filthy Frog in there. Don't get me wrong, it's a great frog, but we need to calm down on the Guggen Filthy Frog. Like that, that is not one of the baits that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited I got this in the box. A frog's a frog. Things I wanted to talk about, one of the ones that really, really stuck out to me was the Mark Daniel series Bill Lewis MR6. This is a six foot diving crankbait. It's got flat sides. It's got that hunch almost like you would see on like, you know, your DT series. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a sick looking crankbait. I really like the paint job on it. Everything about this crankbait just screams, I'm going to get bit. I don't know, I just, I get the feeling this thing's gonna be money and it's one that you may have overlooked in your box. Yep, got a fish. Got a fish on it. He's a little guy. I don't know what he was thinking. Ah, oh, came off right there at the boat. Wow, nice. That was your quick catch and release right there. So here's the thing about crankbait fishing. Don't be scared to throw it in up against that wood and rock. Yeah, you may get it stuck here and there, but you're gonna be able to get it out. Calm down, and ain't gonna, you ain't gonna lose your crankbait. 90% of the time, I say you'll get it out. But what you really want is that crankbait bumping up against all that stuff. So as the crankbait comes up to a log and bumps against it, it's gonna deflect it off. So it's gonna hit and deflect, which is why I like a medium action rod when I'm fishing this, um, just to give it a little bit more give when it bumps into that stuff. 
And when it deflects, that's when you're gonna get a bass react to it and go, oh, something's wrong with that bait. I probably need to go ahead and put it out of its misery. And that's when they pounce on it. Oh, that's a good one. Where I think he's going, he's kind of playing dead on me. He swiped at it and he paid the price for it. Yeep. There you go, buddy. You're a little guy. What are you doing swiping at that big old bait? Little buddy. All right, so we're going to put this guy up. He's done his damage. We've talked about him a good bit. Just don't want this to be one y'all overlook. This is a, this is one that'll catch you some fish for sure. I've really only got a few others I would like to talk about. One of them for sure, again, these are things that I don't want you to overlook in your box. These aren't a breakdown of the box. This isn't a slam video where I catch one on everything in the box. These are just things that I think you should be aware of. And it's this guy, it's the Rocker Head by Headbanger Lures. It's pretty awesome. So this little cup on the front actually gives it some erratic movement. There's several ways you can fish this. If you're on a moving bite, you can actually just do a slow retrieve. This thing will just wiggle and wobble. It'll do some erratic action with whatever type of bait you have on the back. But also, if you're on a slower bite, you can literally yo-yo this thing off the bottom. It's gonna fall and it's gonna give it that erratic action on the bottom. And as you pick it up and pull it and yo-yo it, it's gonna give it just crazy erratic action going up and down in the water column off the bottom. And there's several things you could pair it with. Uh, what I'm personally gonna pair it with, I'm probably gonna pair it with this guy right here, the Exo Swim, because I'm going to try both techniques and see what works best. Really important here when you're rigging this, do not choke up past the eye of the hook. If you get in, in the way of this cup, it will not move. So right where I've got it is about as far as you can go. Don't choke up too far on the eye of that hook. Boom. Nice little bitty presentation. Again, don't overlook this stuff. Oh, geez, I had one come up and bite it. I even watched it. No. Man. He followed it all the way out here. I felt him nibble it, and I watched him eat it. Man. So the only knock I can give this bait, and you guys are gonna understand what I'm saying, if a big enough bass comes up and eats the whole thing, okay? Like they get the whole thing in their mouth. When you go to set the hook, because of the, that cup, it's gonna open their mouth back up when it hits their lips, and they may miss the hook, just because that is an inline wide gap hook. And I have a feeling that's what happened, because this is a white bait, and I watched it completely disappear in his mouth. And I have a feeling when I went to set the hook, that head opened his mouth. So you really want him to get up to that head, the jig head. You really don't want him eating that jig head. So when you go to set the hook again, you can just pop their mouth wide open and then you miss them. All right, so I'm gonna have to call it on this one. We made a, a good laugh around the pond and uh, got bit a couple times, but did not get any in the boat, which not surprising, I really think I should have had that one. I think he got the cup. And when I went to set the hook, it popped his mouth open and he missed the hook. So that kind of stinks. But again, this is a great bait. You need to look into it. If you got it in your box, do not sleep on it. This is actually a really good one. Yo-yo it off the bottom, swim it with a straight retrieve. You won't be upset. And the last one I want to talk about is this guy, the Yodo Worm. This is a brand new one by Catchco. It was literally just released the month that this box came out. So it's been out less than a month. Super versatile bait. They wholeheartedly picked the color for the Yoda worm for this jig that came in the box, the lifted jigs. I mean, it matches it perfectly. It's about the perfect size. Number one, you need to know about this bait though. And to keep in mind when you're trying to fish it is that this tail wiggles for days. Like it will not stop wiggling. Just it won't. We can be here all day. It's not going to stop wiggling. When I see that, I think shaky head. Shaky head would be really good as a fish just nosing down. You could also do, because uh, it's got four different hook points. It's got hook slots here, 
hook slots up here. Y'all see where the opening of that is? Hook slots for days. I also see because it's a blunt head, you could also do a Ned rig and have that thing just doing that, nosing down. So shaky head, Ned rig, drop shot's also a really good option because of the blunt head. You could do a Texas rig. You could have it as a trailer for a spinner bait, chatter bait, swim jig. I'm talking about this thing is crazy versatile. It comes in a million different colors that they've got for it. Uh, this is not a bad color. I personally like the electric shad. I've actually got more packs of these. I've got, what is this color? Blue crawl, like that one. I think this is the electric shad, yeah. So it's got that little bit of disco pearl white on the bottom. I may be fishing with this one actually. And then we have our just regular, you know, white with silver flake, classic color. Yeah, I may try to leave these in the box <clears throat> because as y'all know, I do giveaways, so I don't want to waste any more than I already have. And I may use my own personal stash of these just to show you how, how to get it done or hopefully how to get it done. Let's not get too cocky here. Hopefully this is going to get munched. I mean, that's just a good looking shaky head bait right there. All right, let's get going with the old Yoda worm. See if we can't do some damage. All right, good. Sorry, I didn't have my camera on, but I think I got a fish on here on this Yoda worm. Yeah, I'm tight. Let's go. Yeah, we got one. Fight him in, fight him in, fight him in. There we go. Yoto worm, baby. Yoto worm. Dude, you're too small to be eating that big of a bait, man. What is the deal? What is the freaking deal? Look at he was in the grass, too. I've been fishing for a while and haven't had much luck. Look how little this guy is, for real. What were you doing eating that little Yoto worm? My goodness, buddy. Get back in the grass. See ya. I appreciate the bite though. I, I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate the bite. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. We didn't really catch many fish. It's kind of a tough bite out here, honestly, but we did it on the mystery tackle box stuff. Again, stuff I don't want you guys to sleep on um, because there's you get a lot of baits in the, on these mystery tackle boxes and you get different boxes as well. Like I got two completely different boxes, but if you stayed till the end of this video, here is what I'm gonna do for you today. So number one, in the comments, I need you to tell me how many fish I got in the boat in this video. That's all you gotta do. How many total fish did I actually get in the boat? Um, if you can just put that number in a comment plus whatever you thought of the baits, or, you know, just leave a comment. But if you leave a comment with the number of how many fish we actually get in the boat for this video, plus hit the like button and the subscribe button, I'm gonna give away one of these mystery tackle boxes with some extras. So I'm gonna give away this box right here. It is the one with the bruisers baits. It's got the uh, Castaic Frog, uh, full disclosure. I do test almost all these products before I ship them out. Um, this Castaic Frog had a major leak in it. I patched it, I also cut the skirt on the uh, legs a little bit, so just letting you know. Tried out some of these Impulse baits. Bill Lewis MR6 is still tied on, but it's gonna be in the box as well. The uh, Swim Jig by Lifted Jigs, that's actually got that little paddle tail from Impulse on it already. You're gonna get the deep diving crankbait. I'm actually gonna throw in uh, those rocker heads, the uh, the headbangers rocker heads, and I'm gonna throw in a pack of Yoda worms, the Yoda worms that I got in the other box. So this gold brown color, I think it's called Sungill. So yeah, I'm gonna throw this in the box as well. So that's two extra baits. That should be eight total baits you're gonna get in this mystery tackle box. And again, all you gotta do is be subscribed, hit the like button, and tell me how many fish I actually got in the boat even though I probably don't want to be reminded. If you want to pick up your own mystery tackle box, let's say you don't win this giveaway, but you want to you want to investigate it, you can do it for as little as $10. Use the code in the description and the link in the description, very first one down there. Um, it should be, the code is BFishing. So just use that to check out a mystery tackle box and uh, yeah, you'll get it for as little as $10 on your first box. I thank you guys for watching the video all the way through. Y'all be sure to watch me on the mystery tackle box channel. That should be coming up here in a week or two, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one, and we will catch you on the next one. Later.